Hi, you guys. It's Alyssa, and I am back with another reading. Today's reading is going to be another literal pick a card. I have um, four cards from my Lenormand Oracle deck that you uh, will get to choose from today, and I'm going to um, show them to you uh, in a second. Um, but first, I just want to say that today's reading is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's one that I have been wanting to do for some time now. And basically what this is, is um, what is blocking me right now? What is blocking my growth? Um, what are my challenges? What am I meant to be learning at this stage in my life? Okay, that's basically what we're going to be um, looking into with this reading today. Like I said, this is one that I've been wanting to do pretty much since I started uh, this channel. Um, I just never really got around to it, but you know, today I felt like it was just the day to do this reading, okay? Um, also, as you can see, I got a new um, tablecloth and I'm very happy with it. It has like all the zodiac signs on it. Um, so I'm excited about that and um, I don't know, I just, I'm feeling very um, serene today, okay? Um, maybe you can tell, I don't know, I, I feel like I normally tend to kind of yell a lot in the intros, um, but you know, I'm not really feeling that today. So, let me show you what your options are. These, like I said, are from my Lenormand Oracle deck. Option number one is card number 30 the lilies. And all these cards have like cute little sayings on them, which kind of um, talks a little bit about, you know, what the card means. So this one says, if there are lilies on your head, you walk where virtue treads. If there are lilies at your feet, misfortune is what you soon may meet. Okay, so that is option number one. For number two, we have card number six. This is the clouds. I can't tell if it's focusing or not. There we go. And it says, shining clouds shower you with happy rain, but beware of darker clouds along with stormy weather. Trouble may soon be there again. So that's going to be option number two. For option three, we have number 20, the garden. And it says, you will soon see a man. This is the garden's plan. Another thing's for sure, happiness is also in store. So that's going to be your um, third choice. And then for our final option, we have card number 24, the heart. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. And it says, the heart brings happiness, harmony, and blessedness for lovers and the joy that they profess. So that's going to be for group four. Okay, so you can go ahead and make your choice. These two cards don't want to stand up properly. Um, you know, whether you feel drawn to the number on the cards or the imagery or the saying, um, whatever it is about the card that you know, is calling to you, um, just go ahead and make your choice. If you need a few more minutes, you can just pause the video because I think we are going to go ahead and get started with group number one. Hi guys, group number one, if you chose the lilies, card number 30. So here's what I did. Um, these three cards up top I pulled um, as your struggles, um, your challenges in this lifetime, okay? And then these other cards I pulled out um, as clarifiers and little nuggets of a device, okay? And then I also um, wrote down in my notebook over here, a short little um, 
channeled message that I will read to you at the end. Okay, so what are your blockages? What are your challenges? What do you need to learn in order to grow? So the first card that came out is transition. And right underneath of that, we've got this card, the ever unfolding rose. And on this card, it says cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So what these two cards talk about, um, this one in particular talks about going with the flow, um, allowing the universe to take you, you know, um, where you're meant to be. And the transition card in the position of uh, an obstacle, a challenge, that tells me that um, you guys, group one, are, you may be people who struggle with change. Um, you may be people who try to exert too much control over your circumstances. Okay. Um, and... You know, what this card talks about is allowing things to happen um, because the universe knows what is best for you. Um, the universe is, is always going to take care of you and you have to trust that the things that happen in your life are happening for a reason. You know, um, Nothing happens for no reason at all. I, I think that some of you guys have been through a lot in your lives. Um, some of you have been through some really, um, really, really negative stuff. And I think as a result of that, you kind of overcompensate for the feelings of helplessness that you've had in the past by being trying to be overly controlling of your your life now. Does that make sense? Um, let me see. I'm listening here. We got the, um, under these two cards, we have take time to breathe out. So this card is always a reminder that we need to step back and stop trying to, you know, change things that cannot be changed. Um, we have to allow ourselves to be vulnerable to some extent, okay? Because if we close ourselves off too much, then, you know, we're going to close ourselves off to the things that we need, you know, things that we want. Um, when our energy is blocked off, you know, it's not open for new experiences or new people to come in. Okay, you understand what I'm saying, right? So this card is really um, a reminder that we can't allow ourselves to be too hard on the outside. Um, we have to allow for, you know, a few cracks in our shells so that things can still come in. You know, we don't have to allow ourselves to be completely vulnerable, but we, but we have to, we have to be open. We have to keep our hearts open. And even if that means that we become vulnerable to, you know, being hurt um, emotionally, but because that's just, that's just a risk that we have to take in this life, you know, um, 
if, if we if we want to be close to people, if we want to have meaningful relationships and meaningful experiences, we have to be open to some amount of pain because, you know, pain is just, it, it comes with being alive. You know, if you don't feel pain, then you're not alive. Uh, that's what I'm being told right now. That's what some of you need to hear. Um, okay. I'm going to move on now to this card. This is Enchantment. When this card first came out, I really uh, was unsure of what it might have been talking about. But then... This card came out right underneath of it. This is Get Grounded. So I think that some of you have a tendency to kind of live within your own head. You might, um, okay, let me put it this way. Some of you have a tendency to, toward, towards escapism, okay? You prefer to live in your own world rather than this one. And, you know, that is, that is keeping you from realizing your full potential, I think. You know, there's nothing wrong with escapism now and then, but, you know, when you are living entirely in, inside um, a reality of your own making, it's, you know, you're disconnected from, from this, from this life, uh, and you're not going to, you're not going to have the, that ability to see things as they really are. So what these cards are saying is that this particular challenge is, you know, you preferring to escape from reality rather than embrace reality. Your, your head is too far up in the clouds and it's like you need to ground yourself. You need to get back in touch with this earth, with this lifetime that you're living in um, because you're not able to make the most of it at this point. Um, you know, whatever it is that you are trying to achieve in this lifetime, it's like, you're never going to be able to do it if you are living in your head so much. Um, because we have this card, you're very close to achieving your goal. This makes me feel like, you know, a lot of you have something that you're working towards or that you would like to be working towards, but this is preventing that, you know, this is preventing progress from being made. And I think a lot of you um, have this, you know, leaning towards um, escapism because, like I said, you've been through a lot of difficult things in your life. And it's kind of a coping mechanism for some of you. The reality that you've created in your mind is much safer. It's a safer place than, you know, the real world. Um, or you feel safer there. But the truth is that, you know, the world is not as scary and dangerous as it may feel to you. Because there are people in the world, a large number of people in the world who are good people. You know, human beings have a, can have a, a shocking capacity for evil and violence, but we also can be extraordinarily compassionate and loving and kind to each other. And that is what you need to remember 
that is what you need to focus on the most because people will surprise you with their kindness. Okay. I'm going to talk now about the final card that came out for you. We have um, beauty. So I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of you struggle with um, self-esteem, your self-image. Um, and again, I feel like it's a, it is a result of the things that you have experienced in your life. You may prefer to, to live within your own um, false reality because it is, you know, in, in that world, you are the way that you want to be. But in the real world, you, you know, you know that you have things that you need to, um, you need to improve on or you feel that you need to improve on. We got, um, the first card that came out for this was, um, break the chain. So this card talks about basically breaking cycles, breaking old patterns. Um, on the card it says ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Okay. And then we also got birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into beginning. Okay. And we also have this card, a time for healing. So two cards came out with this, um, about this particular challenge that um, talk about healing. So I feel as if a lot of you who chose this option may feel as though you are broken in some way and and your challenge is being unable to um it's the fact that you can't see that you are a whole and complete human being that you are a complete person despite the things that you may have experienced in your life um and the way to remedy that is just to take time to heal from it. Um, and, you know, if you are someone who does spend, you know, a lot of time in your head um, and, you know, kind of just just barely existing in, in this world, um, just kind of barely acknowledging, you know, your... Uh, your 3D existence, um, you need to begin, you need to take better care of yourself. You need to take care of your body. You know, the, the 3D, the physical world is, I mean, it's, it's insignificant compared to your spiritual existence, but you still have to take care of your body, you know, um, because that is, that's your vessel in, in this existence. Um, you, you have to acknowledge the pain and suffering that your body has been through. And for some of you, I'm seeing, I'm hearing specifically that you need to seek help from like a, a therapist or a psychiatrist or something like that um, so that you can heal from the past and kind of rebuild yourself, okay? And also, okay, some of you, some of you are afraid of repeating the patterns and the cycles that got you to the point that you're at. Some of you had very difficult childhoods. Some of you had parents who did not do their jobs as parents. 
and as a result, you suffered for that. And you might be afraid that you're going to repeat that pattern, you're going to repeat that behavior, that you're going to be like them. But that's, you know, that's where this card is coming in. You know, you have to do your best to heal from the past so that you can break that chain, break that cycle, um, create a new reality um, for yourself that is grounded in, you know, the, the physical, the 3D, um, but I'm sorry for all these pauses. I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm getting a lot of messages. And I'm hoping that, you know, they're making sense to those of you who are hearing them. This is talking about birthing a new you, kind of being reborn, okay? You know, the lilies, a lot of times, um, this the flower is associated with purity. Some of you struggle with that idea. Some of you feel impure because of the things that... Um, I want to say have been done to you, but um, the truth is that your body is a temple, your body is sacred, no matter what, because it houses something that is, you know, indescribably sacred it's something something that is totally divine and that is your spirit so whatever happens to your your physical body to your exterior you know that's not going to change your your divine nature your divinity All right. I think I'm going to read to you now what your channeled message is and then um, call it a day for you, group one. So, your message is gain a new perspective and see the beauty within yourself. Take a step back, breathe, see yourself anew. Capable, unbroken, honorable, and pure. So I already talked a little bit about most of these concepts. And um, that is really, that's a message from, from someone, from, from the universe to you, okay? Group one. That is your reading. Those are your challenges. And um, these are the lessons that you are meant to be learning. I hope it made sense to you. Um, like I said, I, I was trying to listen very hard because there were a lot of messages coming through. And um, I, I didn't really expect for it to be quite so heavy, but... Um, I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I hope you get something out of this. And um, if it resonates with you, feel free to let me know. Um, I do love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching. We're going to move on now to group number two. All right, group number two. If you chose card number six, the clouds. Let's see, what is blocking you? What are your challenges? What do you need to learn in order to grow at this stage in your life? 
So what I've done here is these first three cards I pulled um, to represent your struggles, your particular challenges right now. And then these other cards I pulled as the clarifiers and little bits of advice for you. And then I also um, wrote down a channeled message which I will read to you um, at the end. So, I'm feeling like a lot of you who chose this group are or have been dealing with a lot of karma in this lifetime from your past lifetimes. Um, because we have this card, this is Break the Chain, this card talks about ending cycles, okay, and healing, rewriting the future. And then you've also got Unbound. And it says, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So this, these two cards make me think that you have been dealing a lot with um, old karma in this lifetime, okay? And that could be karmic relationships with other people, or it could just be, um, you know, the events that have happened in your life have been determined, you know, by karma that you accumulated in the past, in, in previous lifetimes. But I think that in this life, you know, your, um, you have really been purging yourself of that old karma, that that old energy, and healing from it, okay, replenishing yourself. We have, this card is deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So, this is like, you are taking care of old business, and so that you can be made new. And over here, we did get birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So this card makes me feel like, yes, you are um, kind of being reborn in this lifetime. Your your soul, your, your spirit is being reborn into something else by, um, you know, resolving all of this stuff from the past. So, um, and I mean, that's, uh, you might feel like, um, in your life, it's just been one thing after another. You know what I'm saying? Um, you might feel like you can't catch a break, but you know, this card, your hard work is paying off. This is reminding you that, you know, even though you may not see the progress that's being made, there is progress. Okay. Um, you are not going through these things for no reason. These things are happening because, you know, th they needed to happen. They needed to be, this, this karma needed to be addressed. And, you know, it's so that in your, in, in your next life, in your next life after that, um, you can kind of start over. You can kind of have a, a clean slate, so to speak. I really get a strong sense that a lot of you feel like nothing you do can change anything. A lot of you feel like, you know, life has just been taking you for a, a joy ride and there's nothing that you can do about any of it. You know, there's nothing that you can do to improve things. There's nothing that, nothing that you've done has made any difference. And, and while it is true that your life is being divinely guided, because we do have this card and this one, this is, um, both of these cards talk about divine guidance, divine orchestration, okay? Um, but 
you are not completely helpless in in this journey. You know what I'm saying? You you do have some control here. Um with this card it says you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So this is kind of going back to what I was saying about how a lot of you, I think, feel like nothing you do matters. Um, none of the work that you've put in has has made any difference, but that's not true. Um, your your actions have made a difference in in the. Um, in the way that your life has played out. You just haven't been able to see that. I also think a lot of you guys are um, kind of, you kind of tend to be pessimist, pessimistic. Um, and I think a lot of you feel like you're not capable of Achieving the goals that you would like to achieve in your life. Um, a lot of you feel like you're never going to amount to anything. That's what I just heard. But there's still um, this this voice inside of your in your head, this this feeling in your gut that tells you that you know you can do amazing things. This card is basically, you know, about trusting that little voice in your mind, about trusting that gut feeling. Um, and even though it's very quiet a lot of the times, it, it has a lot to say. It has a lot it can tell us. Um, I'm sorry for these long pauses. I'm just trying to listen. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, I'm getting a lot of messages with with this one. Um, not quite as many as I had with group one. That was there was a lot going on there, but you know, I'm. There's a lot that spirit wants to to say in the in this in this particular reading, or readings, I should say. So, some of you feel unworthy of success. Some of you feel like like I said, nothing you do ever matters. So, so you're questioning, you know, why should I even bother trying? But I think that you have big dreams. It's just you don't believe in yourself enough to reach for them. But we have luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. So this card is basically saying that the universe does have your back. You know, even though you, um, your life hasn't been the easiest and, and a lot of times you feel like it's just taking you for a ride and there's nothing you can do about any of it. Um, you know, it's, it's not all for nothing. It's, there's a reason that these things are happening and the reason is to, you know, help you in the future. And it, it might seem unfair that you have to go through all this bull in this lifetime just so that you can have a better life in 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 the next one but you know you're going to be grateful that you did this someday that's what they're saying Someday you're going to be grateful that you did this. You're going to be grateful for all the things that have happened. And that might seem like a crazy concept right now, but they're saying that someday that's, you will. 
we also have believe in the impossible, blue moon. So this is, again, saying that you struggle with, I think you struggle with, you know, your confidence in yourself, um, believing in yourself, believing in you, in your abilities, your talents. Um, some of you feel very untalented, very unskilled, very unintelligent, but you know, this card is saying like, you have everything that you need to be successful and achieve the things that you want. Okay. You have everything that you need to, to, um, realize your dreams. All right. Even though the universe is throwing obstacles at you, even though you feel like you aren't getting anywhere, even though you struggle with, you know, um, maintaining optimism, even though you, you don't <laughs> listen to your intuition, um, you know, that's, those are the things that I'm, I'm seeing as, as your challenges in this life. And, you know, what you need to learn is that you are capable of, you know, you're, you're capable of what seems impossible. And, you know, even though you are, your life is being very much divinely guided, you do have some control. You're not totally powerless. You're not as powerless as you feel. And even though you can't see the purpose of this, these things now, there is a greater purpose. And someday you will understand that. So I'm going to read to you now um, your channeled message really quickly. I, I got, um, you are meant for more than this. Trust your intuition and leap into the unknown. Don't let your light die. Okay. So I don't want to talk too much about, you know, uh, interpreting the, 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 the channel messages because I want you guys to make of it what you will. Okay. But, um, Yes, um, I think I'm going to end this one here. That, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you guys, group two. Um, I hope that this um, was helpful to you. I hope that it, you, it made sense to you. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if it resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I do love to read um, comments from you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number three. All right, group number three, if you chose card number 20, the garden, here's your reading. What are you meant to be learning in this lifetime? What is blocking you from growing? What are your challenges here? So these three cards here I pulled to represent um, your struggles right now, um, your, your challenges in this lifetime. And these others are just for clarification and uh you know little um little nuggets of advice for you guys and then i also wrote down in my notebook a channeled message which i will read to you at the end so the first card that came out as far as you know your challenges in this lifetime was the change card so i'm feeling like a lot of you guys could be people who um who struggle with changes okay um i'm i'm feeling like a lot of you guys might be um earth signs for some reason um Anyway, <laughs> that's kind of besides the point. Um, but I think a lot of you who chose this option are... You tend to be resistant to change because you get comfortable, you know, you, you, you like to have a routine. You, you like to be comfortable in your, in your daily routine. And when, when things change, it makes you 
uncomfortable and you don't like it. Um, you know, when, when new people come into your life and shake things up or, you know, when you, um, have to move or, or get a new job or something like that, you, you're not, you're not into that. Um, and that's something that you struggle with, but I'm also feeling like some of you, um, try to exert too much control over your, your life, the circumstances of your life and possibly over other people. Um, group one had a very similar, um, thing come up for them as their challenge as well. So, but, but in this case, it's like, I, I feel as if you guys are more resistant to change as far as I want to say life purpose so but like group one was more controlling in terms of you know the details of their lives you know their everyday existence but you guys feel more like um, the universe you know tries to push you in certain directions but you just kind of dig your heels in and kind of refuse to budge um sometimes so you know um specifically uh you are um i want to say Some of you, I'm hearing the phrase guidance averse. You are averse to receiving guidance um, from the universe. You, Some of you don't like to be told what to do. Some of you um, want to do your own thing and you don't want to take anyone else's advice. You don't want to hear any other opinions or suggestions. You just want to be left alone to do your own thing. And for a lot of you, that is not that's not going to do anything for you. That's not helping you get anywhere. That's not helping you grow. Um, so that's the first card that came out. Second, um, we got hope. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling like with, with this card, this is talking about some of you, um, to have doubts about your ability to, I want to say, manifest the life that you want, okay? I, I feel like a lot of you guys are very, um, your vibrations are very high, you're operating at a very high level of consciousness, and you, a lot of you are, you know, actively trying to manifest the reality that you want to live in, but some of you have doubts about that. You know, you you doubt your ability to actually create, okay? Um, but what I'm getting here is that you're very capable of creating the reality that you want to see, okay? Because we have the pillar of light. Your, vibrating, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Um, we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Um, so you guys, I think, are, you know, you're like the magician in the tarot, okay? You are, um, you can manifest your, your reality in a number of ways, but you have these doubts about the, your abilities to do those things, and... And I think you also have doubts about your ability to, you know, just, just chase your dreams in general. You may have doubts about, you know, will I ever, you know, really find my true purpose? Will I ever do the things that I'm meant to do? Will I ever even know what it is that I'm meant to do? Um, I, and I feel like a lot of you already know what, what it is that you've been put here to do in this lifetime. And I think that is healing because we have the healing card so this card coming up is not so much um 
it's it's not so much a challenge for you or a blockage. It's like I mean, for some of you, it may be. Some of you do have things that you need to heal from and let go of. Um, but I think for most of you guys, this is talking about your purpose here. You know, um, and I think a lot of you know what that purpose is already, but you're not um, you're not taking steps towards it. Um, you guys are teachers. Okay, you've been put here to raise the collective consciousness. Okay, um, you've been put here to heal people. We have the soul family card. Um, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So, so this is like your purpose here is to find your soul family. And, you know, soulmates are people who basically they exist um because we have history with them from past lives and you know they exist to um so that we can learn things from each other and you know i think a lot of you guys are um once you learn to embrace what your purpose is and figure out how how you're meant to go about um you know putting putting that purpose into action, your your soul family is going to start coming into your life, okay? Um, some of you already, you know, have met a, maybe a couple of your soulmates, but once you figure these things out, you're going to start meeting a lot of people that you have soul connections with. And the purpose of that is so that you can teach them things, okay? They have things that they need to learn that only that you are going to be able to teach them. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, it's like, I think a lot of them are, are people that you're going to be very close to for, for a large portion of your lifetime. Um, it's like found family kind of, kind of uh, feeling here. I'm sorry for these um, long pauses. I've, I've said this in every reading so far, but um, I'm just trying to listen to uh, what the messages are because I'm, I'm getting a lot for these. I'm just trying to listen and make sense of them. But, but you know, a, a group three, a lot of you guys are very spiritually attuned people. Um, we also have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So it's like, you know, your, your purpose here is to, um, like I already said, to help raise the collective consciousness to, you know, heal people. Um, and that is going to, you know, that, that healing is going to look different for all of you, I think. For some of you, it can be, it could be, you know, spiritual healing. For some of you, it could be literal, like physical healing, you know, like working in the medical field. For some of you, you could be, um, it could be that you are meant to get involved in like Reiki, um, energetic healing, stuff like that. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. But you're all very spiritual people, you know, you're, um, you're like, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is getting messed up. You're, you're like the garden, okay? You are like this fertile ground that, um, really beautiful things can grow out of. And... <sighs> You need to stop putting off, you know, you need to start embracing this purpose, okay? You need to stop doubting yourself. We have, it's time to take action. So, you know, you've put this off long enough, okay? You need to, you need to figure out how, you know, what this um, implementation of this purpose is going to look like for you and figure out how to do that and, and embrace that and just just go out there and do it, okay? Um, 
<clears throat> also, for some of you, I'm feeling like uh, there's something has been going on in your life that you have been waiting and hoping to manifest. And it's been, it feels like it's been a long time coming. But we have two cards here that are telling me that um, whatever it is, it is, it is being created for you. It is manifesting for you. We have full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. So, I mean, this is like literally, you know, the thing that you are hoping for is going to happen for you. It is coming into your life. Um, and also we have your commitment is being tested. So whatever this thing is, it is it has taken so long because the universe is testing you, okay? It is testing, you know, how badly do you really want this? How long are you willing to wait for this? How much effort are you willing to put into this, okay? Um, you're being tested, and you're being tested because the universe, your guides, they know that you are... Um, capable of passing this test. It's just a matter of, you know, your devotion to this uh, idea, whatever it is. Um, I'm not really getting anything else from these cards, so I think I'm going to read to you um, your channeled message now, which is, don't be afraid. You cannot help if you are bound by fear. As long as you're afraid, you are just another soul in need of saving. So that's kind of going along with what I was talking about, about you um, having doubts about your abilities, you know, about what you're capable of. And, um, you know, it also talks a little bit about what your purpose is here, which is to help people. Um, so I'm, I'm not really going to talk any more about that because I want you guys to, to make of the message what you, you know, what you will. Um, and I hope that this made sense to you and I hope you got something out of it, group three. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's your reading today. And, um, if it resonated with you, please feel free to let me know. I do love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, group three. We're going to move on now to group number four. All right, group number four. If you chose the heart card, number 24, what are you meant to be learning in this lifetime and what is blocking you from growing? So what I've done here is these top three cards are your uh, struggles, your challenges right now. And the other cards are um, just clarifiers and uh, bits of advice for you. And then I also um, wrote down a channeled message in my notebook over here, which I will read to you at the end, okay? So... We have two cards that came out that talk about callings. Okay, the first one is this card, Warrior Woman, have you answered your deepest calling? And then the other one is Answer the Call, what is your soul calling you to do? Okay, so um, I'm, I feel like one of your challenges, one of the things that's blocking you is that you guys have been, I want to say that you've been blocking yourselves because you've been ignoring um, something that the universe, that, that your own spirit has been calling you to do, okay? Um, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. I think that it's going to dif differ for all of you, um, but it's like... You guys who chose this option, you, you're you not uh, being true to your heart, okay? You're not being true to um, your inner calling, your inner voice. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like there's a sense of fear here in relation to doing that. Um, because we have leap 
Um, this card says, you go first and the universe will catch you. Okay, so it's like, you've been reluctant to take a leap, you know? You've been reluctant to just dive into the unknown because, you know, whatever it is that you're, um, you're being called to do is something that is kind of unknown to you. It's kind of scary to you. It's not like, it's not really something that you're familiar with. And I think that you prefer the familiar. For one of your challenges, we have this card, take a break. A life's work, not a season. And then it says, get off the treadmill. So you guys, I think, are, um, you work a lot, but it's, you do, the work that you do is not, um, it's not really doing anything for you. It's not really benefiting you in any, you know, in any way. I mean, you know, it's, um, you're able to provide for yourself and, and survive off of it, but it's not fulfilling to you. It's not satisfying to you. It's not helping you grow in any way. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys who chose this option, um, you know, you, I, I think that you operate in the physical world and you kind of neglect your spirituality because we have this card, balance spirituality and practicality. This makes me feel like you guys, like I said, tend to neglect your, you know, your, your spiritual side. Um, it, it feels like your, your soul is kind of starving, you know, starved for attention, starved for, um, starved for the feeling of, um, satisfaction and belonging. You guys, you're, you're neglecting the fact that you are, your body is a temple and that you are just a, a vessel for, you know, this divine essence that is your spirit, okay? Um, and it's like, you prefer to ignore that aspect of yourself because it is daunting to you. It intimidates you, you know, um, your own spirituality is intimidating to you somehow. Um, it might seem like it's too big of a thing to, you know, tackle and so you just kind of ignore it. You don't listen to your intuition. You, I feel like some of you make a point not to. Um, which, <laughs> I mean, I, I think a lot of you guys, you know, your reasons for that is different. Um, and also, you know, your your callings are different. So I can't, unfortunately, I can't um, go into much detail about that. But... Um, you know, your souls are starved for tension and, and nourishment, and there's a sense of longing, okay? I think that you guys have the potential to be um, very psychically attuned and um, have the potential to be very helpful to other people in their own spiritual journeys, because we have this card, um, Mintakan. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So some of you guys, I think, could be light workers, but you're uh, you're ignoring that aspect of yourself, and that could be what your calling is for some of you. You know, to to get into light work and to help other people, um, to you know move along their own spiritual journey, their own paths. But like I said, there's a sense of fear. But um, the cards are saying that, you know, you're you're safe, okay? You know, you can take this, you can take the leap and the universe will catch you and, and you're going to be safe. You know, it's, it's not as scary or daunting as you think it is. Um, and you, you know, you can be very successful in whatever you set out to do, okay? Um, 
you don't have to continue to be stuck, you know, in this mundane, very routine existence that you're in now. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. So, you know, you have the power to change whatever you want to change. You don't have to be stuck in this cycle of, you know, being unfulfilled and, you know, just kind of living superficially. So, I think I'm going to read to you now your channeled message because that's really all of the um, information that I'm getting from these cards. So, your channeled message is, you can't ignore your calling forever. No more excuses. You would rather work yourself to death than live for one day. So, um, that's basically what I was just talking about. You know, you've been, you've been ignoring something that the universe is trying to tell you. And it's like, it's because it's intimidating or it's, it's uh, scary to you. Um, a lot of you, it, it feels like you're, you're content to, um, you know, just continue with this kind of, I don't want to say meaningless because, you know, no, nobody's existence is meaningless, but um, that's the word that I'm hearing, this, this like meaningless um, routine that you're in, then, you know, go out and fulfill, you know, your purpose in life, okay? So those are your uh, blockages. That's what's blocking you, and um, that's what you are meant to be learning right now in this lifetime to let go of fear to understand that you are a spiritual being and your spirituality needs just as much care and attention as your physical body and that the universe you know has a purpose for you and and you just need to take that leap of faith and and jump into it whatever it is and like i said i think a lot of you are um you know, you, you might be light workers. And if you're not really familiar with what that is, you know, you can just, um, like do a search on Google or something and you'll find tons of information, I'm sure. Okay. Group number four, that is your reading. That's really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. Um, this one was, this one was shorter than the others. I feel like this one is going to be, um, for a larger group of people, perhaps. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If it resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments. If you are from a previous group and you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, all your support really means a lot to me. Uh, as always, I do have private readings available. You can, uh, click the link to my Etsy store, which is going to be in the, in the description box um, to find one. And all the information that I need from you will be um, in the listing for the readings themselves. Um, also, if you would like to donate to the channel, um, my PayPal link is also going to be in the description box. And thank you so much again for watching. Uh, all your support really means a lot to me. And I hope that I see you guys next time. Bye!